for demo video. Our project is about building a chat UI for RTDIP pipeline configuration. So the chat AI will facilitate the description and configuration of RTDIP SDK pipelines. And RTDIP stands for Real Time Data Ingestion Platform. And the response will be in a chat GPT style. Our core technologies will be LangChain uh, to create the chains between the model and uh, the content store. Uh, Streamlet uh, for the chat UI, Chroma for the content store or like vector database, and OpenAI as an LLM model. The functionality of our product will be saving API key, uh, content hub updates to update the knowledge uh, of our model based on the uh, last uh, update, updates on the GitHub repo. A structured code output with copying uh, ability and a new conversation button. So the architecture of our product looks like uh, the following. Uh, first, we will download the RTDIP uh, repo, and uh, we will uh, we will like take only the Python files that contain the examples. We'll perform like chunking, chunking and splitting. After that, we will uh, create uh, like we'll create a vector embedding using uh, OpenAI embedding, and uh, save uh, save it all in a vector database. Uh, in this case, it is Chroma. And uh, after that, uh, the user can write uh, their query. And by writing the query, Langchain will will use like a semantic search by embedding the query and do a semantic search with the vector database, and uh, will give like the most relevant results. And the OpenAI uh, ChatGPT in this case uh, will uh, take those most relevant answers and uh, return the most accurate uh, answer to the Chat UI. So. I will demonstrate that. So uh, first of all, I will create a new API key. I mean, I already have it, but I will save it in our product. I will call it uh, demo video. And the key, I will put my key. And I will click on save. If you, if I want to use it in the future, if I don't want to use it in the future, I either I don't click on save or I just enter it here automatically, uh, like uh, simply, and then apply. As you can see here, like a new field to write my message uh, appeared. So if I restart the app again, the API key is saved. Now I will execute a query. Let's say we want this one and we want the code return a Python code. As you can see here, the code and the copy um, functionality. And I can start a new conversation from here. Let's try a different query.
perfect. And just to present the copying function, if I put it here, you can see the whole code is copied. Uh, so the update content store button, uh, it is a script to download the latest GitHub repo and it's all like under the hood, there's nothing really to present. But if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out.